Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to make Kerala style Padipu curry or dal curry. Here I have taken 2 cups of moong dal or small yellow split gram. First I am washing it thoroughly. This curry by the way is awesome for kids. Once we have washed the dal, I am going to dry roast it. No need of adding any oil. Roast it till it turns golden brown in color. As shown here. I would like to also show you this um, lovely rose flower that I brought from the grocery store today. It's very cheap. It's just 2 or 3 dollars I think lovely flowers deep orangish red rose such a beautiful thing okay now we'll need coconut half a cup of coconut i'm going to add some garlic and half two teaspoons of cumin seeds and grind it coarsely like this here i'm going to chop uh, onions into small pieces and then two tomatoes again chopped into small cubes green chilies and curry leaves now I'm going to add the dal into a pressure cooker for one cup of dal you will need three cups of water to cook and I've cooked it for three whistles. I've also added enough amount of salt in there and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. After three whistles, the dal is ready. Now I'm going to add the coconut along with enough amount of water and while it's boiling we're going to make the tadka. For that I have uh, a pan with uh, some coconut oil in there. I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of mustard seeds and half teaspoons of cumin seeds and once it starts spluttering you can add the red chilies, dry red chilies and then the chopped onions along with the curry leaves and green chilies. Saute it until it becomes lightly golden brown. Then add a pinch of turmeric powder. Roast it well till the raw flavor goes away. Then add uh, finely chopped tomatoes. Cook until the tomato softens. By this time the dal is nicely cooked. To this go ahead and add the tadka. And cook it on high flame for 2-3 to three minutes. Add enough amount of salt. And friends, it's ready. Easy and simple Kerala style dal curry. Give it a try. Hope to see you next time with another yummy recipe. Thank you.